back down, settle, never settle, no settlements, all sentiments, no to your pedals, no puppet strings, puppeteers, violence of violence, orchestrated strategy to harmonize the sirens, victory inevitable, lions and lioness, discipline impeccable, we trained with samurais, sensei Fred Ho, Muffet and Fujango, our ancestors bless ya, gotta work out what's in Chango, Chango, Ilombos, Acapong Town, Moortown, Charlestown, Scotso, Veracruz, Loisa, Muffet and Fujango, Ogun, Ogun, Strike down, strike down. Gullah Geechee, stay Gullah Geechee. My veins from down south. Global south, south Batista. Yes, we all my rooms. Watch yourself now. We connecting continents. Fuck your governments. Revolutionary Meiji. Oh, I'm it in the air. Never scared. My rooms, we prepared. So be aware. Stay prepared. Kill your inner fear. Strike with us. Strike with us. Win with us. Yes, we here. Victory is certain. We have already won. You can feel it in the air. Never scared. My rooms, we prepared. So be aware, stay, stay prepared, kill your inner fears Fight with us, fight with us, win with us Yes, we here, victory is certain Winning is to be won Winning is to be won Winning is to be won Skilled with art equal to a politic matters not what you think skin is dark dark matters time black matters crap a photograph eternal revolutionary struggle pick the craft through the math 1492 that's 529 times at very least we fight within the belly of the beast no we never running revolutionary drumming steady coming revolution she be coming steady coming you can feel it in the air never scare my rooms we prepared so be aware stay prepared Prepared, kill your inner fears, fight with us, fight with us, win with us, yes we here, victory is certain, we've already won, you can feel it in the air, never share my rooms, we prepared, so be aware, stay prepared, kill your inner fears, fight with us, fight with us, win with us, yes we here, victory is certain, winning is to be won. Exciting Monday. It's another Maroon Monday, but it's different. This is a very different Maroon Monday. It's like the like the most exciting Monday I've had in a long time. <laughs> we make Mondays, Fridays, and Fridays, Saturdays, and party all the time. That's what we do. So we're here with the Bushwick Book Club. It's the Maroon Party for Liberation, Maroon Liberation School. Welcome everybody, those who are joining us from different platforms. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome everybody. Um, uh, you know, Bushwick Book Club, this is our first collaboration with Maroon Liberation Party, and we're really excited about it. Um, we have all these like amazing artists that we got to, um, got to meet and collaborate with, and they all have new pieces in response to Russell um, Maroon Show. It's, um, um, uh, Maroon the impl Implacable. Like, yes. I get excited and it's hard for me to talk, which is not really helpful. Yes, 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 but, yes. But we're, we're here to liberate our political prisoners the best way we know how. This is a cultural revolution for us, for this platform, for this vibration. Russell Maroon Schultz has been incarcerated for really too long. Um, and those of y'all who don't know, you'll hear through the music, the energy. If you haven't picked up Maroon the Implacable, pick it up. There's many different teachings from the Black Panther Party to Mother Earth Sentinels to women and honoring women and revolutionary matriarchy, indigeneity, on and on and on and on. And on. So many, so many good <laughs> things there, and on and on and on. And I like it because like it just it gets deeper and deeper and deeper, and you just get to go really deep with like with these um, really great ideas, and um, and you get to you get to to know him in a in a really like profound way. And what I like is that. Um, through reading his work too, and then and through participating in this event, it's like you're right. It's, um, this is an artistic re revolution. We're a part of a revolution. We're part of a revolution. You didn't, you didn't know. know. You, yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> like, you, told, you thought you were like, I don't know. What am I doing on Earth? Uh, apparently, you're a part of a revolution. You're part of it. Yeah. You are part of it. And our ancestors, our elders, the political prisoners, Black Panther Party for Liberation for Self Defense. Um, he was a member of also Black Unity, uh, struggled freedom fighter. 
uh, should not be there like Mumia Abdul Jamal and many others. Um, so this is our expression as to why he shouldn't be, why any of them shouldn't be locked down because they're creative, they're innovative, they're grandfathers, they're 77 years old, they just fought COVID, they have stage four cancer, et cetera, et cetera. It's just inhumane. Right now, all of that, absolutely. <laughs> and um, right now, I want to show all the different artists who are going to, you're going to see in tonight's show, in tonight's live stream. Um, and here they are, um, they're, from, they're, they're from all over the place. Um, and uh, we have yeah, people from, I don't know, but like lots of, <laughs> lots of places. Lots of places. Lots of places throughout New York City. We have some folks from LA. And we're going to do an international one sometime in September, October to involve our international comrades in Belgium, France, Germany, etc. etc. So right now you see the universe of the states. And our first our first performer today, uh, she has a piece, a new piece to share with us. Her name is Beth Bliss. Please welcome Beth. Hey everybody. So we're here today to celebrate Maroon the Implacable. But first things first, I want to do a little call and response. So when I say Maroon will be, I need y'all to unmute and say free. Can, can y'all do that? Okay. So one, two, Three. Maroon will be free. free. Maroon will be free. Maroon will be free. free. All right, all right. That's what I want to hear. That's the energy for this whole show tonight. Let's go. I can't wait to share my presentation slash performance that I made for y'all today. Justice and peace for those underneath, for those in defeat, for those on the street with nothing to eat. You gotta believe, you gotta believe. Say I won't retreat until I receive. Say we won't retreat until we receive. Yeah, we will proceed. Maroon will proceed. Yeah, we will proceed. We fighting for space, fuck the fame and glory. The truth will be chased through unmarked territory. 
I'm here to tell you more than just a story And I promise it ain't boring We're here to stay, so look the other way I'm here to stay, so look the other way Or in my eyes, the past the lies of our lives And our history, oppression kills mystery but united there are victories but united there are victories but united there are victories united there are victories say i won't retreat until i receive say we won't retreat until we receive, yeah, we will proceed. The road will proceed, yeah, we will proceed. The road will be free. The road will be free. Can you get what you want? Can you get what we need? Keep turning it up. Keep bringing the heat. Yes, sir. Keep raising the power. Yes, sir. This is your time. 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 Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Beth. You're amazing. You continue to amaze me. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to being amazed, you know, further. I, I'm ready to be amazed, like, you know, every day. So, um, Beth, I'll be calling you. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to introduce the next performer, which is me. Okay, so this is a piece that we I collaborated on with do you know Stephanie Laurier? Maybe you've met her. She is um, a performance artist in Brooklyn and also a filmmaker and a wicked tap dancer. Like, like really good. And so um, we collaborated. This is something that came together yesterday. Um, I wrote the song ahead of time, but um, we came together yesterday to do it. And it's funny. I mean, what inspired me, um, what inspired the song was really like the amazing, powerful um, story of uh, Russell Maroon Schultz's um, path into feminism. And that was, that was so profound to me because it's like he was willing to evaluate himself and everything that he stood for and his whole worldview. And it's so interesting that, you know, that the things we think we're fighting against, it's like, oh, it goes even deeper than that. It goes to like very, very fundamental things about like duality, um, and patriarchy versus matriarchy. Mm -hmm. So that that was, I, that just like said everything to me. And it, and it also um, seemed very similar to like other um, spiritualists and uh, people who made prophecies like around the turn of the century. And they kind of said that around this time, it would be a time where it would be the return of the mother. So that's what so, you know, that's what I, I decided to focus on. And with Wishard Book Club songs, often they're so brand new that it's like when you perform them live, you get extra nerves, and, and sometimes you, like, mess up, and, um, and yet even that is, like, thrilling, you know, just because, like, what you have is, like, so, so brand new, and we're sharing it for the first time. And he, this is my first time submitting a video, so here I don't even have, like, the nerves of a live performance. But I'm, I'm still messing up, and I decided to include the mess ups in my video. And it's weird, it's like, most people include like a blooper reel at the end of their piece. Mine starts with the blooper reel. So, you know, enjoy. Yay! <laughs> Turn up the mic. 
other Becoming maroon You are the one to escape Being a slave to the sins of the father I'm gonna try it again Are you ready for the <laughs> Return of the mother be I'm fucking 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 it simpler. This is amazing. And I also want to big up just the whole Bushwick Book Club right now. Um, I know some people out here seeing it for the first time, but Susan's been doing this for a really long time. We got Charlie over here who's been rocking out for a really long time with the um, Bushwick Book Club. Um, so many people here who made this possible. Teresa, Stacy, yeah, what's good? What's good? What's good? Um, and just so y'all don't who don't who don't know, this is a vibration of taking the books, the works of various authors um, and 
We were blessed to have them choose Maroon the Implacable. This is our first collaboration. Um, so to take some content from their passages, essays, all the words that you hear are inspired by the author. So are inspired by Russell Maroon Schultz or any other author from the book. So this is like a really rare occasion that those who haven't seen this vibe, sometimes it's usually live, but because of virtual stream, we're bringing it to you. But I want to give our love and appreciation to oh the Bushwick Book Club and Susan personally, because oh I love her so much. It's been years. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you operate on so many levels and dimensions. I can't even, I don't know how you do it, um, but it always inspires me. So I'm so happy we could work together. Yay! And I'm really happy we could bring on our next performer, Patricia Santos. Oh, Patricia Santos. So Patricia is another amazing um, artist, artivist, activist. Um, she does her work at Sing Sing Prison. I don't know, could we say that yeah, stuff? Yeah, we say, can that? say we that. Say, okay, cool. She does her work at Sing Sing Prison Penitentiary, um, with along with some music Cambia and mm -hmm. some other musicians that you may see and recognize. Um, you'll see people from the Maroon Liberation School. Beth Bliss was a part of the Maroon Liberation School, is a part of Maroon Party for Liberation. So this is a true collaboration in all senses of the world. Oh my gosh. And sound. I, I just announced um, I just announced Patricia, but I, I, I forgot I did the order wrong. <gasps> oh. um, uh, but so stay tuned, stay tuned. Because um, right now we also have someone so exciting, uh, Jurakon. Jurakon! Who is like, yeah. who is... <laughs> I've never, I've never worked with him, but his work is really fascinating, and it's so uh, awesome to get introduced to him. And like now, I'm happy to introduce him, you know, to all of you. Yay! Yeah, and Let's here's go. here's Jiro Kong. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'll keep it brief. Uh, my name is Jura Khan. I'm a composer, producer, and rapper. And um, I have to confess, I didn't write this piece in direct relationship to Russell Maroon uh, Schultz's work. Um, and I, I wrote it as a part of a virtual collaboration with activist and pianist Conrad Tao in terms of how I philosophically view revolution. Um, and I only released it uh, back in January. But as I've gotten involved with uh, the Maroon Liberation Party and learning more about Russell Maroon Schultz and, and, and reading his work, it, um, it's clear to me that he has embodied what I view as the ideal of revolution. And, and, I, th and I think that this piece deeply resonates with what I've learned uh, in my political education so far. Um, and I also wanted to give a thanks to uh, Bushwick Book Club for programming me on this concert and, and getting to meet all you guys. Uh, so thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy. Mmm. -hmm. 
like every time we feel like we're oppressed, our music gets better, it seems like. So the Kendrick Lamar album couldn't come on at a better time. Chance the Rapper couldn't come on at a, at a better time. You know, because now we don't have it as great as we had with certain people in office, right? So now we feel like that we need some source of inspiration. Because music has always been the voice of revolution. It's always been the voice of revolution. That's, the message has always been a part of it. 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 It's always been a part of it. Oh wow, I can't wait to hear more 
of those amazing compositions that you're illustrating right now. That's brilliant tribute. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Like, I need a moment for transitions sometimes, you know? I need a moment after that because you never know where you're going to go in a Bushwick Book Club show. That just took me someplace. I don't know what to call that place, but I might want to go back, which is nice because this is on his album, which is, which is released, and you can get it at, uh, and find out more about at it um, at Juricon.com. It is. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. I've had we're my moment. Yeah, we're braving through the moments. All right. <sighs> because now, now we're going to bring on some Patricia Santos. Mm -hmm. All right. Here she is. Patricia! Patricia! Hey, everybody. Um, I did have a moment of, like, panic because <laughs> I thought I had one more piece and I wasn't even holding my instrument. Anyway, um, yes, I also teach with Spirit um, at Sing Sing. And I... This book... I mean, we... Doing the work that we do, we already know how much creativity and humanity and empathy is incarcerated and i had a really similar reaction to susan like the the stuff about matriarchy and about the author having to overcome his own um sort of misplaced patriarchal uh trust <laughs> and authority um I thought that was really powerful and pointing out also that we so easily are made to be distracted from working towards our collective goals by turning on each other. And that if we look to actually, you know, where are the problems coming from? It's not usually from your neighbor. It's from a, from a much bigger place. And so to not get distracted and to work together. And as Susan said, the, Love your neighbor, love love everything, love the whole planet. Um, so anyway.
Positions that you're writing, your interpretation of Maroon's work. This is a collaboration that is pretty unorthodox, and we want more collaborations like this. We want to not speak to the choir, so to speak, or the people who are constantly out on the streets, and we want to reach the people that we can't reach. So teach how you teach, speak your truth how you speak it, and I love it, and I'm feeling it, and I'm vibing. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's, there really isn't much more to say after that, but um, thank goodness I don't have to say anything because Jonas Hall is here. To 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 say what he's gonna say. Yay! Yay! Woo! Hi. Um. All right. So uh, I'm here because I I've done the Bushwick Book Club a number of times and. Uh, I was at Susan's recently and I said, oh, what's the next one? And she showed me the book and I said, yes, please. And I bought the book from her immediately and started reading immediately and I learned so much shit. It's an awesome, awesome book. I recommend it so highly. And then when I got to this part around, uh, uh, I don't know, two thirds of the way through, it was this part about the Dismal Swamp. I had never heard of it before. It's this area in Virginia where uh, where uh, people hid out uh, from uh, slavers for uh, for a long period of time, and uh, and I didn't know about this, and uh, it was great to learn about it. And I found the whole story inspiring, so I wrote uh, I wrote this. Stay here, they won't know. They may venture in, but soon they will go. They will never find us in this dismal swamp. The Amerindian and the white maroon, united we stand together. We're immune, we protect each other in this dismal swamp. My sons and daughters and my wife and me, we've been living out here since 1723. Fight the good fight against slavery. Come and join us, bring your family. We can stay here, sing our freedom song. The slavers may come, but they won't stay long. They will never catch us in this dismal swamp. My sons and daughters and my wife and me, we've been living out here since 1723. the good fight against slavery come and join us bring your family we can stay here sing our freedom song the 
slavers may come, but they won't stay long. They will never catch us in this dismal swamp. We protect each other in this dismal swamp. They will never find us in this dismal swamp. Thank you. Dismal Swamp, that is definitely the soul capturing element, the one that draws us all together. White Maroons, African Maroons, Seminoles, Amerindians, all, all of us are coming together in this Dismal Swamp. I love that. We were singing like some harmony in the background. Yeah, the... I couldn't help but like sing harmonies and like I went to, you know, and you were doing the rhythm. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Right on. Thanks. We love it. We love it. And actually on the Dismal Swamp, Dismal Swamp thing, Dismal Swamp. You have a video from Remedy next, right? We do. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the um, the school you're doing? And yeah, the, the school. The fundraising you're doing for them? Yes, the school. Okay, we are so horrible at fundraising. Thank you so much, Susan Rosa and Doreen will kill me. Um, yes, this is a moment, a little small commercial break. All the, the material that you are hearing is inspired by this idea, which creates an ideology, which is something that's very ideal for all of us to contribute to. It's a part of a revolution, right? So the Maroon Liberation School is a place where we harness, cultivate our idea. It's our so-called New Age dismal swamp area, per se. Um, all are welcome to come and study with us. Every Maroon Monday we get down. None of the um, instructors or lecturers or teachers, if you want to call them that, are getting paid for it. This is all going to our young people to facilitate a summer camp. Um, I know Rosa is going to put the link in the chat, is, a, is a, in the chat to the GoFundMe that we're doing. With all of our wins, we have people in the South. You hear a little bit later, Brad is in the South working and organizing some amazing projects, which one of them is, you can put the plug in there to the band camp. So if you don't want to donate to like a GoFundMe, but you want to support them by music, we created an album for Maroons, Maroon, and Marooni. So all maroon all the time, 24-7. So support us if you can. It's a GoFundMe. I don't know the backslash stuff, but you can visit uh, maroonparty.com and there'll be information there about our school, about our projects, and more importantly, the summer camp, working with the young people, having the young people learn about maroonage, the things that we're all inspired by to, to, to create from this book. This is what we're breaking down for our younger people. This is what the school system, high school, public education, they do not teach this about our history, about the combination, the solidarity in our history, um, the fact that we've always been together and they've been dividing us, um, whether it's church, religion, uh, ethnicity, whatever the case may be, we have gotten down, 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 and up, up, up. So please support us if you can. That's hey, pitch. yeah, that's, that's, that's a pitch. That's a pitch, you guys. That's, a pitch, a pitch. that's awesome. We're going to show this next video next. This was um, swamping. Yeah, but, but please like support support Maroon and all of, all of, uh, all of the efforts going here. Um, we'll talk about which book comes up later. But, um, but please enjoy this video now and uh, you know support the cause. It, the link should be up in the, on, in the chat as well. Thank you, Remedy. Thank you. Dismal swamping yesterday, holes for refuge run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will lead them yesterday. Dismal swamping yesterday, holes for refuge run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will lead them yesterday. Dismal swamping yesterday, holes for refuge run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will 
will lead them yesterday Wherever you go, I will go, I will climb We will not let one soul go behind There will be no treaty I will sign If it means we not free from their lies Wherever you go, I will go, I will climb We will not let one soul go behind There will be no treaty I will sign If it means we not free from their lies This month swamping yesterday, house for refuge, run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will lead them yesterday. This month swamping yesterday, house for refuge, run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will lead them yesterday. This most swamping yesterday. House for refuge, run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will lead them yesterday. This most swamping yesterday. House for refuge, run away. Keep your freedom, be not slaves. We will lead them yesterday. Wherever you go, I will go, I will climb We will not let one soul go behind There will be no treaty I will sign If it means we not free from their lies Wherever you go, I will go, I will climb We will not let one soul go behind There will be no treaty I will sign If it means we not free from their lies
that you provided a uh, spirit that was so like I'm in a, it, it, I'm, it, it put me in a trance mm -hmm. and so now I'm just like I don't know if I need to leave the trance but I need to mm -hmm. I know that I need to you'll come back we'll come back okay to, okay okay as long as we can revisit mm -hmm. um, definitely and uh, and and this is where I make my pitch for Bushwick Book Club because if uh, the more you can support us, the more we can do collaborations like this mm -hmm. and support all of the um, unusual and really like brave artists and artwork, you know that that happens when you ask people to read a book and make us make a song or or a film or a snack or a cocktail or a you know visual art piece. So and we we keep doing it. We do the shows just about every month. We pick a different different book and um, and oftentimes we have a, a live author to to come to come here and of course this author is live but he can't be here um, but um, but uh, we're also doing our first outdoor outdoor festival in June June 26 um, it's it's the porch stomp porch stomp festival on Governor's Island and so we're going to be bringing lots of songs about books there and I hope you can play that yeah, and, and, and I'm, I'm inviting all of the um, people who are on the live stream, contributing to this live stream here, also to, to play with us outside on Governor's Island on June 26th. So we'll talk more about it later. But you can donate to um, Venmo at, at Bushwick Book Club and also paypal.me slash Bushwick Book Club. And we're a nonprofit now. We just, we just got our nonprofit status. So all the donations will be tax deductible, mm. a little perk. and. Um, I, we appreciate you know um, what we can get to keep the show going, mm -hmm. and um, at very minimum, supporting Bushwick Book Club supports authors who support the art of writing books. Put that in your head. We need more people reading and writing books, and we need more artists to sing about songs that they're writing and creating a whole another extension of that vibration, remixing it. So this is all literature. Yeah, and art, and, <laughs> yes. creati and creativity. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and with that said, I would like to bring on our amazing next performer, Stephanie. Stephanie Rucker! Rucker. Oh, right. she's on deck, Stephanie. Her Rucker. very first Bushwick Book Club yeah. performance. I'm really happy to have her. Yeah. Cool. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor to be here with so many amazing, amazing peoples and um, and for such an amazing. Um, work that we are all working to extend and grow and evolve in. So really grateful to be a part of this. Um, thank you so much, Spirit, for inviting me. Thank you, Susan, everybody. Um, so I um, was a uh, part of the Maroon Liberation School um, for the first two seasons. And during that time, um, actually last summer, uh, Russell Maroon Schultz had his 77th birthday and so the maroon school the maroon school for liberation uh decided to um, do a letter writing campaign to have 77 letters written to maroon for his birthday um just showing him that we we were here and we love him and we we, we think of him and we're fighting for him and um a friend of mine who was also participating um, in this letter writing campaign in the school, um, Jen Liu, who's an amazing musician and artist in her own right, um, she wrote this incredible letter to him that just like so moved me. It was just so powerful. She's so good with words. And, um, and I asked her if I could um, work with the, the letter that she wrote and, and craft it into a song and, and make, you know, weave her words into lyrics and um, collab with spirit on a track. And we created this song, we co-created this song, and it's called Maroon Bird Songs. One of the things that Jen wrote in her letter that was so powerful to me was this, um, she said something like, like referring to the revolutionary lineage such that like no one could play what Charlie Parker was playing before Charlie Parker played it. Like no one could do that before he expressed um, his creativity, his his revolutionary mind in, in that expressive way. And so it, similarly, she was saying like for Maroon, um, the way he has expressed himself, the way he's brought his teachings and his experience and his work for liberation into the world, um, it's just such another um, 
really, really important um, influence and inspiration in this lineage. So that's what this song is is um, sprouting from. So y'all let me know if this sync gets all weird with the sync. We're praying the Zoom gods will let me be in time. <laughs> all right. No one sang bird song before bird drifted into darkness to see it. No one sang bird song before bird sank into silence to receive it. No one sang bird song before bird dove into death to retrieve it. No one sang before the need to summon freedom, the need to cry freedom, the need to manifest freedom. that feeds on greed, festering oppression designed to devour itself, taught sold out souls not to feel, see, grieve, receive, not to sing, gather them up and rally round truth, relearn how to be, gather them up and rally round truth, relearn how to be, no one sang Harriet's song before, Harriet drifted into darkness to see it, no one sang Nanny's song before, and then he sank into silence to receive it. No one sang a sort of song before, a sort of dove into death to retrieve it. No one sang before the need to summon freedom, the need to cry freedom, the need to manifest freedom. Awaken young minds to realize the severity of battle bequeathed. Learning hers to read, walk the path with authentic audacity. And machete sharpness modeled by maroon revolutionaries. Machete sharpness modeled by maroon revolutionaries. No one sang Fred's song before. Fred drifted into darkness to see it. No one sang James' song before. James sank into silence to receive it. No one sang Sun's song before. Sun dove into death to retrieve it. No one sang before. The need to summon freedom. The need to cry freedom. The need to manifest freedom. Reverberation through generations, this lineage runs deep. A river of resistance cutting through conditions, wearing down supremacy. The will to live of an opposing force until all peoples are free. The will to live of an opposing force until all peoples are free. No one sang maroon song before maroon drifted into darkness to see it. No one sang maroon song before maroon sank into silence to receive it. No one sang maroon song before maroon dove into death to retrieve it. No one sang before the need to summon freedom, the need to cry freedom, the need to manifest freedom. Bodies long for freedom. Spirits weave breath and life to remember it. Feet rooted to earth, hearts heavy with truth, eyes gazing to sky beyond the sky. We the battle, life and liberation sworn, singing freedom evermore, singing freedom evermore, singing freedom, oh, singing freedom, oh. 
Yeah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> to applaud you guys. Yeah. You know, we would, cause, uh, you know, you want to do the applause again? Do Let's do the applause one more time. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephanie. You thank you. Thank you all. Like, I think 2007 or something. So it's been a minute. And um, always, um, there's a song for Asada. We all put together affirmation. And this one for Maroon. Always coming through with some amazing. Uh, this is live party, people. This, this is. You'll get no better than this. This actual uh, 505 <laughs> Looper falling. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Stephanie. We appreciate you every time, all time, rocking with the Liberation School. Rocking for freedom and singing your soul out for justice. I love you. I love you. I love you. And right now we have another comrade um, from a long time, Art Start Days, yeah. who was engineering for our youth who were uh, formerly incarcerated, just donating his time endlessly and selflessly and being like, I'm here mixing, mastering. Some of the songs are like, eh, you know, but he was just like, I want to put my soul in there and always behind the boards, giving his all. An amazing multiple musician, <laughs> instrumentalist, singer, has an album out, just Charlie and Susan. I'm not doing justice to the song that they're doing, but I just want to introduce these amazing people. <laughs> That's the best intro we've ever had. Yeah. And the expert hype man as well. But the uh, but that was an amazing experience working with our start. I'll, I'll never forget that. And uh, okay, so uh, this song was inspired by the idea of the power of Exodus. So here we go.
someone who's oh aligned with us. They're setting up. You see, I don't know how y'all feel out there. I mean, so we're gonna get to this vibration on the 26th of June. We'll have a nice live outdoor until yes. we can all be together. Yes. You know, but right now I'm feeling the vibes before that because all these amazing musicians are here in the house, in the house. Free outdoor um, show vibes. Free outdoor yeah. show. We have another music cambia uh, working in the prisons, teaching artists, uh, composer, Maroon Liberation School, ongoer, Maroon Party for Liberation member, Brad Maroon here in the place. Yeah. Hey. Hello everyone, my name is Brad. I'm with the South Sphere of the Maroon Liberation School. It's an honor to be here. I am going to turn this around all... so I can do, sorry, this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, it's a, a great honor to be here. I have to hear all of these amazing songs. I feel very lucky to be a part of this. Um, I want to echo something that Susan said and Patricia said also, the um, inspiration of reading Maroon the Implacable and kind of witnessing uh, the transformations that he went through in his life. And that for me is one of the huge inspirations of this book that he serves as a model for aspiration, that you go through your life, you continue learning and your life changes because of the things you learn. Uh, little changes in your life, big changes in your life based on the things that you learn, that you take in. And there is a quote in particular in here, if you don't mind me sharing, from the dragon and the hydra that really speaks to me. I find so eloquent of a summation. The main threat to humankind, to the flora and fauna, and to our entire biosphere is capitalist imperialism. A totally out of control, predatory, global system of accumulation and oppression that's on a collision course with the limitations of our planet daily devouring children, women, people of color, the poor, workers of all stripes, wildlife, and the environment in pursuit of profits. So I've taken this quote and I have a little piece to play on my bassoon here, inspired by it, based even a little bit on the speech rhythms. And because he talks about the flora and fauna and how this um, message resonates with my love for the animals and my fear for their destruction. I'm putting in a little bit of the song of this bird right here, the yellow warbler, swamp, great swamp bird. It looks like that and it sounds like this. I'm gonna sing it again, just wait. What a song. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. 
this on the Bushwick Book Club um, YouTube stream, a link to an exclusive, maybe one time only offer to this audience to come see us at like, like 30 more minutes. Because at seven o'clock, we're going to talk about the man of the hours that we just had here, Russell Maroon Schultz. We have his son who joins us, Russell Schultz III. Um, he's there on the other link. We have Sister Noah Harmony, who's his niece who's been reporting back and being the liaison for his campaign. So it's a whole campaign and coalition and we do things like this, right? So if you're, if you're into the, like the nitty gritty organizing and wanna go out marching and all that, we got a space for you. You into creating some music around that and you can create some music around that because we do have an open call for another album that we're putting together for Maroon or Maroon Mitch in general. You can be a part of that if you missed your chance to join this. So please do stay connected, stay in contact with maroonparty.com. Again, you as a resource, as a person is more important than the money, but we also need your money too to free them all because it's not free. As our sister always says, freedom ain't free. Big up sister Dayqui. And I'll do this collage. Um, uh, Brad had created this, 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 this beat. It was one of the first instrumentals I heard for the album that we put together for Maroon. It's called We Maroon um, and Maroon Liberation Suite. Number one, the mosaic of sound. And when I heard this orchestrated uh, piece, there was something, it was like a war chant. And I immediately was like, I want that beat. I, was, I didn't wait, I was supposed to share a whole beat pile. I was like, no, 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 I want something. I just jumped on it immediately. And um, I love this song, it's called The Implacable, obviously off of Maroon, The Implacable. And um, I'm gonna blend it with a little bit of Asada Shakur a song I wrote for Asada because we do want Maroon to be free like Asada, but even freer. We don't have to have more political prisoners who are exiled, who cannot come back to this country. So with all love to Asada and the way people broke her out, we need to break him out. But also whatever we can do, parole boards, whatever you need to do, whoever you know, make a phone call, we went to the governor's house, we are doing it all. All right, so cool. 
I'll let you lead and I will follow. <laughs> people, green is for the land. 
man, you already know the LGBTQ because we all queer, queer as fuck. So thank you so much. Let's put these up <laughs> on June 26 on Governor's Island. Yay! Yay! This will be part of our, our banners. Yes, all yes, right. yes. All right. Do awesome, it. Awesome, you guys. <laughs> all right. Um, and, and, and I love birds. I love birds. Four presents. Oh my gosh. So, um, so, so, what do we do now? Um, we do have another video. We have another video. We have another video, and then uh, if you want to stay on Rosa uh, Doreen, they'll put the link to um, just just for today. Uh, because uh, we would like y'all to join a conversation if you want to to learn more about Russell Maroon Schultz. Um, you can join that and have a party though, more importantly, because we're revolutionaries and we'd love to have fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun is like part. I like, I like how that's um, that's the revolution. Yeah, that's part of it. Dancing. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, here's the here's the video, and we'll we'll be back on uh, for our curtains all after that. Yay!
Queen, and that's how we do it, y'all. Um, uh, you ask, um, definitely, uh, like, at least half of the songs you heard today are on the Bandcamp link. So please, if you like anything you heard, and because we're revolutionaries, I was just sitting down. I didn't really share it out loud too much yet, but I'm gonna share it right now because we got the South in the house before they leave. Um, I think we should encourage everyone who performed today that hasn't recorded to record their songs already and submit it for the next volume two. Can I be on volume two? Yes! I get to be on the Everybody on volume two, volume two, suite number two. We got this, Charlie. We got John, Patricia, please do contribute to Sweet Number Two. We want your voices wow. and we're gonna wow. have this vibration. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay. All right, and so um, this is where we say goodbye. At the end of Bushwick Book Club shows, we always group hug the author. And since he couldn't be here with us today, we're going to have to energetically group hug the author. Yeah. So there he is in your heart. And we're going to think about um, his liberation and ours. Okay, hug is complete. Yes. Uh, thanks, everyone, for playing, and uh, we'll see you next time. And um, and it's been great. Um, I feel like you should start the quiz. <laughs> Support Bushwick Book Club. Um, check out the PayPal link. Um, uh, they've been working really hard without any sponsorship. And I think it's really vital that we we support our own. So those of y'all who come to our school, those of y'all who are part of our people with the Freedom Room now or any part of revolutionary movement, spread the word, do that. And those who don't um, know us, um, Free Maroon Now, or um, you can check, catch us at Linktree, Free Maroon Now, or uh, Maroon Party, support us. Like So we want to bridge this. So if you've already supported us today, just support Bushwick Book Club. If you haven't supported us and you're part of Bushwick Book Club, support the Maroon Liberation School. And That's if you want to support both, support both. Support both. You got it like that. Spread yeah. it out. Spread yeah. it out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thank everybody. You so See you much. next time. Peace. See you at Governor's Island. And on June 19th is our next thing. Okay, bye now. Yay.